this is a really, uh, I would say, a straightforward section. So when we talk about the mass and center mass, I, uh, here I just want to introduce a few uh, equations, and that's pretty much it. So here, suppose that we have a solid E in R3, with now we have a density there, okay, for that solid. So the density rho of x, y, d at any point with coordinates x, y, d, then its mass a little m equals to the triple integral over the solid of rho of x, y, z. Okay. So now we should be quite familiar with this uh, kind of uh, Riemann sum sort of definition. So basically, what are we doing? So uh, for the solid E, we subdivide into pieces, and then the, the, each subdivision has a volume of little dv there, right? And then we multiply that by the uh, density of the solid within, uh, within that small region. So that's estimated as rho of uh, x, y, z. So that's the way we accumulate, and we are getting that triple integral there. Okay, so here we're not, we are just skipping that uh, details. But for example, if let's say rho of x, y, z equals to one, uh, here we, we are omitting the um, units of the, uh, density, but uh, of course you can say uh, if this one uh, counts per uh, things, right? If we put the density to be one at all possible points, so it's even, then we know that uh, we are just accumulating one over the entire solid, right? Which exactly equals to the uh, volume of the solid. Right. So that's that's about mass. Okay, so that's pretty good. And then the center of mass. The center of mass is a little bit different, but. Uh, Let's uh, start from the 1D dimensional case. So, and let's even uh, simplify it to be like uh, two uh, mass points. Okay. So basically, what are we doing? We have the x-axis, and we have two, um, two points with the uh, mass assigned to, this, uh, to them. So we have x1, uh, x2, these are the uh, location of the mass points, and then we have uh, uh, this uh, weight, m1 and m2, okay? And basically, when you talk about center mass, it's some, it's some location uh, between these two mass points, such that if you put a, a fulcrum there, then this uh, axis will be uh, stable, okay? It will be even out. And the location here is x bar. So basically, it's a pivot that uh, you put the support there is uh, gonna the the axis x axis will be uh, horizontal, okay, so stay horizontal. So if you think about that, basically, um, so the pull that that these two objects uh, that uh, provides you will somehow even out. So that's that's what's special here. So basically, we have the location x one, x bar, and x two. And then we have the mass m1 and m2 that relate to the gravity, right? And then uh, this uh, distance from the object to the uh, the support, the fulcrum, the distance multiplying the the uh, force will will give you the torque, right? So basically, you need to satisfy if you have those two objects, and this is m1, the mass times the distance from the well, this is the absolute distance, basically x bar minus x1. This must equal to, in absolute uh, 
value uh, in the uh, value of the total is going to be the mass times the absolute distance between uh, the coordinate and the uh, pivot. Okay. So that's a pretty uh, a straightforward physics, right? But if you rearrange, what do you get? So this is uh, this is saying um, if I so these are positive values, right? So I'm using the larger to minus the, the smaller. But if I use the signed values, then I can put everything in the same form and put everything on the on the same side. So basically, this is saying if I use the sign form, this is saying okay, m one times x bar minus x one plus m two x bar minus x two equals to zero. Okay, and here I'm using the mass to be the same same mass, but then for the distance, I'm using the sign this. Okay, and then this is just saying okay. In the whole system, the the total accumulate is gonna equal to zero, so that it will not ro rotate, right? And if you rearrange, so basically this is gonna give you what? This is gonna give you uh, m1 plus m2 times x bar equals to m1 x1 plus m2 x2. So, and if you simplify by dividing both sides by the sum of mass, this is exactly. So m1 uh, x1 plus m2 x2, right, accumulated on the top over the um, the total mass of the system. Okay, so this is the, in a way you see that the uh, x bar, this uh, center of mass, is actually a weighted average of the locations of the objects. Okay. Right now, so this is for two objects, right? For if we have a bar from, let's say, uh, x equals to a and x, uh, x equals to b, what happens? Okay. So if you have one D object, so it's the, in the physical sense, it's the same thing. So we have a, we have a bar that's uh, having, a, uh, having a length and uh, uh, mass everywhere, right? So let's say this is x equals a and x equals b. And the axis goes all the way all the way to the right, and then um, every at every location we have a, we have a density. Okay, so then uh, the way that we do is we treat this as a re uh, interval, and we do the Riemann sum but to do the subdivision. So you break it up into pieces, and then uh, here I'm going to call this uh, this is um, x uh, zero. So for the for the left hand points, right? x0, x1, x2, all the way up. And then this is uh, x uh, n, right? So if I subdivide into n pieces, right? And let's say the um, center of mass is somewhere here, okay? Then what does it tell you? Basically, it tells you if I accumulate these uh, uh, sine torques, then the whole system will give you a zero, right? So uh, if we think about, let's say, this is uh, the i's um, a subdivision. So this is this i sub piece. So we have xi minus 1 and xi for the endpoints, right? So the length of it is uh, delta x. And then that relates to um, the, the uh, Mass of the of the of the piece, right? And then the distance from the point to the um, support to the pivot. So this is x bar for the location of the center mass, right? So this location, I could say, this is some x i star. Just a sample point. It could be the midpoint. It could be the left end point, right end point. It doesn't matter. But uh, the, the key point here is that the sum over the entire system, like we have before, this uh, accumulated um, torque is zero. And mi is what? mi is the mass at the i's uh, peak sub piece, which is exactly rho of xi star, the sample density multiplying by the uh, width, okay, dot x. And then x by minus x i star. Okay. So if we sum them up, eventually we'll get a zero. Okay. 
Okay, so that's that's the um, physical equation, right? And then further, if we write in terms of the Riemann sum, this is going to be zero equals to so I'll take m to infinity of m. So it should be m. So I'm using m for mass. So this is the integral from a to b of rho of x, uh, x bar minus x. Yeah, so that so that x becomes dx. X i star becomes just the uh, simple at any location as x. X bar is the center mass is below x bar. Right? So simplifying this, <laughs> we will have the equation that we want. So um, center of mass equation is exactly x bar equals to. So the integral from A to B of x rho of x dx, holding over the integral of x uh, okay. So the numerator, this is actually the moment. Okay. And the denominator is uh, what's called the mass, of course. Right. So, so this is the one division of x. So, and uh, if you really think about this in 3D, then essentially, um, where you put the fulcrum for that for that object, if you if you really think about it, it's actually uh, only re uh, with respect to uh, the number of dimensions, uh, what the each dimension that you are considering uh, in your problem. Okay, so let's say if you have a two-dimensional object that you are actually lying on a plane, right? And you put the flow from down uh, beneath that, uh, let's say, for whatever shape of disk that you have. And then you only need to consider the x direction and the y direction. And then in each direction, you are uh, trying to formulate this kind of problem. And eventually, you'll get this kind of formula right here. So it's going to be the integral. The integral of the location times density along, let's say, x direction over the uh, over the uh, total mass, and then you're gonna do it uh, with respect to the other direction uh, y as well. Okay, so let's right, just write down the formula. Let's say extension. Total mass. Let's say we denote this as x bar, y bar, and z bar in 3D. Then x bar is exactly an extension of x the location times density accumulated over the solid divided by the mass of the solid and y bar I'm gonna change So along the y direction, we're just accumulating uh, the location in terms of y at every point. And finally, yeah, I can use that as that again. Or the third coordinate. Right. And actually, we know that the denominators are in common, and they're actually just uh, the mass of the objects, right? But if you really want to give the notation for the uh, numerators, you can say, okay, so uh, uh, the, the first numerator is actually 
uh, accumulating x, the, uh, the location in terms of x times the, uh, the density, uh, it can be denoted as m sub at uh, yz moment. Because this is exactly respect to the yz kind. And similarly, the second one will be called the uh, M sub uh, XZ, and the third one will be called X uh, sub XY. Okay. 